Why you brought your little one? I came out here because I come out for protest to support black and brown people. Um, I support racial justice. I support uh, anti-racism efforts. Um, I educate about them online on a regular basis, and uh, my child is a part of what I do. And, and who is this? How old? Five and a half months. Um, what, and what, what does that mean? Being out here with with your child as you're as you're listening to this and and thinking about what happened. What are you thinking about in terms of what happened and sort of the next generation? Um, I think that the next generation is going to have to deal with the same stuff that the generation that I'm in and then every generation since the founding of America has had to deal with, which is namely white supremacy and constantly having to beat back the narrative that somehow or another we're making too big of a deal out of things. So, you know, here we have to keep on coming out and reasserting our basic humanity, our basic dignity. We have to keep on asserting that, yes, this is real. What's your name? Uh, my name is Absurdist Words. Can you spell it for me? A B S U R D I S T W O R D S. And where are you from? I'm from Philly. From where in Philly? Which West part? Philly. Which West Philly you said? Yep. Okay, and who's this? This is Charlie. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Five and a half months, you said? India. Oh, Thanks so much. And very good, too. Very good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Totally ready for it. Yeah. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Regular, Starbucks is a regular stop for you. Starbucks, yeah, actually, not this particular one, but I've gone in every city that I live in, have lived in, I've gone to Starbucks. I just moved here from Charlotte, North Carolina. And like I said, the one that I went to faithfully across from the University of North Carolina at Charlotte never had this issue. And I'm not sure if this is just an isolated is issue, but I think that whenever you have um, a racial profiling situation, it should be assessed, not just by managers, because that manager clearly needs to be fired, but the police themselves. These, these kids, or oh, these young men, I don't think had a record. Now they have a record, and the police just didn't assess the issue. They should have come in. They should have asked the other patrons. Are they disturbing? Find out. Ask questions. That's all. That's how I feel. How does this... How does this make you feel? I mean, you said you, you go to Starbucks a lot. How does this make you feel about going? I'm a little torn right now. I, I don't know if I want to continue to support an uh, organization or a corporation that still employs people like this. I, I just, I need to find out what the head of Starbucks is going to do and trickle down. 
Did you see their statement by any chance, the CEO's statement? No, I didn't. Okay. Did he apologize? Yeah. But how can you apologize for an individual? And the only way to do that is to get rid of that individual. You can't have individuals like that working for your organization if he's just racial profiling people. And with, how do you use Starbucks? Do you is it something where you just pick up stuff to go, or do you you know sit and sort of use it as a gathering place? Oh my God, I use it as everything. A meetups um, to order food. Um, I don't know to wait for a friend. Just I've seen so many people have study groups here. And you never had an issue. I've never had an issue. I've never had an issue. However. I don't represent everyone in America. I know we have, you know, I don't know if it's, if it's just targeted towards young black men, because that's what it seems like. You know, we have to speak up for the ones that don't have a voice. And right now, those two guys don't have a voice, so we're speaking up for them. Thank you for You're welcome. Time. Tell your name for me. B E R N A D E T T E. And what's your last name? Lighten, L I G H T N E R. And you look I just moved back here from 20 years ago. Oh, well, welcome back. Well, Thank you. East Falls section.
Lord. The people united shall never be defeated. The people united shall never be defeated. Because we are the people. We are the people. The mighty, mighty people. The mighty, mighty people. We are the people. We are the people. Mighty, mighty people. The mighty, mighty people. We are the people. We are the people. The mighty, mighty people. The mighty, mighty people. Diversity. I say. I say. I say. Look at this. Hey. Diversity. Power to the people. 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 Power to the we want the man to fire. Don't go in the back from the house. Come on out. Young men with the strength. Let us see you. We see you. Young men with the strength. We have the regional vice president here. Let us see you. We have the regional vice president here. And we have the Starbucks. Show your face. Let us see you. Show your face. The man with the strength. And we have the. Let us see you. Come on out. The man with the strength. We know that he's still here. No hiding, no back off. Just come on out. We have the regional manager of Starbucks standing next to me. She identified herself. I hope that she can announce to us that the racist manager has been fired. Is that what your announcement is? So, uh, my name is, let me just start with it. And I really thank you for uh, a piece of it. I'm from the Mid-Atlantic region, born and raised in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, the events that occurred yesterday, um, we deeply, deeply regret. Um, based on um, the, um, the activities that have occurred in the store in the past, we instituted a practice of what we call safe and welcoming. And, and so, um, for all of the um, the non-customers, we've asked uh, to um, not use our restrooms, and um, and that is for, for all customers. And um, as a reason, what I will say is that um, we would love to meet those two men and personally apologize. Well, let me let me. Wait, and I will wait, say wait, that. Okay. The, let me just say one other thing because I know the question has come up in terms of whether or not the manager should be fired. She should be fired. And we take full responsibility no and put her in a position that um, did not allow, it was, it, we put her in a position that did not allow her to be set up for success for those two men. I Don't you see that? That's next She failed, they got a picture in the system now. They're fingerprinted. She the only him. demand, Absolutely. and I appreciate, I appreciate your coming and speaking, but the him. only demand that we have is two. It's for Starbucks, we want the manager fired. Let her train somewhere else, but she must be fired because before you can have any healing, there has to be consequences for her action. When you call, when you call law enforcement on black and brown bodies, they are met with aggression and violence, and you know that. Yeah. So we cannot go overshadow that. We cannot overlook that. Amen. We cannot overlook the pain and the trauma that those two black men are still experiencing. The fact that they were arrested around 5 and then they didn't get out until 2 a.m. The whole trauma of just being a black person in that type of space is unacceptable. I and I understand if she was not fully trained or whatever, but that's not our demand at this point and it's not our problem. We want her out. And we want we want her we want her out and once she's fired, then we may have a conversation. But we can have no conversation unless she's fired. Number two. Number two. Number two. And this is for Commissioner Ross. We're dealing with Starbucks, but we're going to deal with you and your police force. We want every last one of those officers fired for what they did to those black brothers. Those are our demands. We want the manager fired, and we want the officers to fire because they're all involved in what took place on Thursday, and they're all guilty. Now, does, does Starbucks, 
have a protocol or, or, or a situation where one person makes the decision for law enforcement to be called, or is there someone that she needs to check with before it gets to that escalation? It's, it's usually a supervisor. Okay. But I, let me just say this. Wait, 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 wait. I, I don't mean what no disrespect. I, we're not, listen, listen, we're not interested in having a debate nah, about policy. We want we came here with a demand. That's it. The demand is we want the manager fired. Period. We can talk about policy later. We can talk about policy later. We cannot talk about policy unless the person who was responsible for starting what took place Thursday is fired. We want her terminated. Then we can have a conversation about policy. Can I offer that um, we have just uh, a dialogue? And, and so we respect what, what your requests are. I want you to understand very carefully because we are educated people. The people are demanding. Listen, the people are demanding. We are open for dialogue, but we cannot have any dialogue until the manager is fired. That's a demand. Once the demand is met, then we can have dialogue concerning the policies and bring the people involved to give you guys some education on how to deal with black and brown and poor people. But we can't have a dialogue unless the manager of this Starbucks is fired. Let me just say one thing. We do not want to the store manager put black people in a position. They took, she put two black men, innocent black men in a position. You guys were not concerned about their well-being. So we're not caring about her feelings. This is not about her feelings. This is about her causing problems and her stirring this whole thing up. We want her fire. That's it. And then we can sit down and reasonably have a conversation because I think you guys need to do a lot of improvement, not only with people of color, but with poor people who come in here as well. Okay? Everyone should not be forced to drink their coffee if that's the only thing they can afford. So we've got a lot of conversation we can do, but we cannot have a serious conversation, a sincere conversation until the racist bigot that called, and she's a racist bigot. I'm sorry. I'm calling her that. Until that element is move, removed from this store, there cannot be any dialogue. There can only be protest. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm sorry. Thank you. For the manager, at this time, we want to ask that you. First of all, Starbucks. Wait a minute. And I appreciate your hospitality, but the people are in charge. We'll leave when we're ready to leave. Absolutely. You're not going to. You're not going to escort him. I'm going to call the cops again because this is the people rally. We would not be here if you guys had did what you're supposed to have done, which is to fire her immediately. We will leave this occupation, but I promise you we're leaving on our own terms because this is a people's rally, not Starbucks. And in this rally, you are a guest, not a boss. The people united. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. I said the people united will never be defeated. 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 Will never be defeated. Sometimes in management, you work in teams, and the person tells you they tell you, law enforcement, we have a tap man. So he, he taps you out. He's not hired for you. Uh, he's a partner for Starbucks. There's so many partners that are, are here, and we support one another. I'm very observant. Yes, yes. What is your name? I'm Troy Overton. I'm Camille Hines. Hi, Camille. Very nice I have a nonprofit, and the bottom line is I, I try and teach sensitivity. And transparency, it starts with transparency. Absolutely. Now, I know it's difficult for you, but I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to encourage you because your this incident unfortunately happened for Starbucks at a time in which other incidents are causing people like me to no longer sit by and just say it's, it's okay, it's going to work itself out. We realize we have to participate and, and, and it's going to be hard for you from here.
but I want you to still stay transparent because if the, I looked up the demographics for this city and for specifically for Rittenhouse Square, and I don't believe the majority of the people that live here with a median income of over 85000 would support what the manager did. So I don't know how you're going to deal with it, but be transparent. I appreciate your, your time. Thank you so much. Now, I know this is kind of tough for you to deal with all these protesters today. Do you understand kind of the lack of empathy for the manager with kind of the situation at hand? I, what I would ask is that um, we, we step outside. We really want to make sure that we are uh, sensitive to the customers that are coming in and then also our partners. So I appreciate are the question. Are you going to come outside with us? Did you come speak with us outside? Yes, yes. today, do you think that Starbucks has said enough and done enough? We're always working to create the very best environment in our stores and in our communities. Tireless efforts to bridge the opportunity to buy for young men and women of color, uh, 18 to 24 that are not in school and do not have a job. Uh, in Washington, D.C., we hired over 300 young men and women to teach them job skills. We have community stores in which we train young men and women, homeless people who need an opportunity to succeed. And I've never been more proud of this company and what they do. And this incident does not reflect the spirit of our brand. It was an unfortunate incident, and we'll be sure to make it right. What was your reaction? What was your reaction when you saw the movie? When you saw it? What's your name? Well, that's convenient, but thank you. I believe you're telling your name. My name is Absurdist Words. I said, my name is Absurdist Words, and, and, and honestly, I, I get that there's always going to be a corporate and I get that there's always going to be a, a, a management endemic control, and I get that there's always going to be a All of it is always after the fact. It's always a limp apology with no actual results. We want results today. I want to thank everybody that came to rally themselves today. I'm going to pass the mic to Sister Ursula just to say a few words to us today. Thank you so much.
If you're not ready for it or you're just not interested in the revolution, Starbucks is now taking applications on called the sign in the window. Maybe you'll see the sign. And stop hiding. Stop seeking refuge in the unsafe, peaceless places. Stop refusing to be enlightened. Stop willingly accepting what the powerless that be tell you.